Yeah, know what I mean? You know we gotta do a joint for the ladies, right? So every club worldwide, we gon' move y'all like this. Come on, bounce, bounce, bounce. Hey girl, hey girl. Hey girl, hey girl. Hey girl. Okay, the last segment, and we called this a Monday. It's been put in the can, and we can move on. And now that I know that Mario almost made me go get ready for the quiet storm. <laughs> you almost had me, dude. Yeah, I'll... get ready for that. <laughs> right. So, hey, look, last week I did what they call the best black action heroes of all time. Whether they're in a lead, supporting, or alternative role. And the reason why I have to say that is because, it, hey, look, we just didn't have a lot of them in lead roles. Action being the umbrella. And then underneath that, what you make of it. Well, this is part two. Because there were some obvious ones that people were going, well, what about, what about, what about? So what we're trying to determine is that as it moves forward, it doesn't mean that the action hero films were successful. It just means that they were action heroes. And then at the end of the day, which one are we looking forward to to take us home? And home can be wherever you make it. So you ready for the hood English, man? I'm ready for some hood English. <laughs> All right. We're going to start you off real quick. Once Mario makes sure he's got that Trump detox out of his system. You got, you got it out, man? It's getting there. All right, you got it. All right. We're going to start you off straight up. Hitting you hard with a television show, Black Lightning, Cress Williams, the only, and it's an unfair one, dude, because, you know, in TV, they don't bring the budgets the same way as the film, so you can't be, you really have to look at it as a jumping off point, but Cress, I remember him in a lot of projects, Black Lightning doing this thing, let me give you a, a little background, <clears throat> the familiar comic book fashion, the first season of Black Lightning is set up as the battle for the heart of a city. The use of predominantly African-American urban space for commentary on gentrification, community organizing, and tense relationships between law enforcement and civilians. Just another fancy way of that we have issues with the law. Hood English. All right, continuing on. The series is driven by some solid action scenes, bass-pumping soundtracks, stylish treatment of black lightning, sizzling powers, and character pragmatism. Well, the made-for-TV television show may turn into a major film project. Well, they already have Black Panther, right? You got Black Lightning. Is there a difference, Mario, and have you watched this show? Yes, there's a difference between Lightning and the cat. <laughs> That's the first question. What about the next They may one? both be black. <laughs> wait, wait, okay. You see, have you watched it? Watch this. Yes, I have watched it. Thumbs up or down? Man, come on, man. I didn't do it for me. Mario. Didn't do it for me. All it took was part of one episode. I think I made it through half of the first episode. All right. I'm, okay. All right. Not fair. I'm going to give it time. See, the reason why is TV. I think TV, because it's just not fair to be put in. Because they just don't give you the expansion of all the investment. No problem. Let's go to the next. This is also to recognize the time capsule, meaning that it's not all current. We do remember a time. Danny Glover, Lethal Weapon, the series, and also Predator, too. Danny Glover, Ro Roger Murtaugh in the Lethal Weapon series is what he's known for. The straight man to the loose cannon, of course, Mel Gibson's Martin Riggs. Shines as a bona fide action hero, specifically in the Predator saga. Now, I say saga because it was a Predator saga, but Danny was only in one. Was he convincing enough, Mario, to you to go, you know what? Danny's a superhero action figure. He's going to make a comeback, or his comeback went and left the room. Hey, enough to be memorable, he's what you remember yes. about those early series with the Predator. Okay, all right, good. All right, not bad. Going on to the next. Not a lot said. Like I said, we're just using a different dialection here. You know, that's all I'm saying. All right, Michael Jai White's Spawn and Black Dynamite. 
MJW may be one of the most underrated action heroes. Most of his work and background involved action films, which is true. He got his first action hero starring role in 1997's Spawn, and eventually the role would, he would be known for, 2009's Black Dynamite, a spoof of the 1970s black exploitation era. Mario, you were, you were, you were on buzz about watching Black Dynamite, right? Dude, you got it. And Spawn didn't do much for me either. Okay, remember now, money. I used to actually call it by a different name that sounded similar. <laughs> Come on, man. Spawn. Remember, remember, it's it, un, it's unfair when you don't have the same amount of money investment in these projects, man. It works against. Life's them. not fair. <laughs> Wait a minute, Spawn, man. Yeah. It was his Spawn. Dude, Come on, man. Yeah. Spawn was. Yeah. Okay, was it good enough for cable? I don't know. Here's what cable you watch. All right. Now with Netflix, it's not the same. All right. All right. I try to do my thing. I'm going to give props to those who sit back and work with what they got. All right. Going on to the next. I already know what that means. Going to the next. Iconic. Halle Berry. Catwoman. I know everybody remembers the Catwoman, right? Yes, look at that rack. All what right. a bad movie. <laughs> All right, now here we go. What a bad movie Wait a movie minute. By, by no means did Catwoman receive positive reviews from the obvious sexualization Hard. of the role, moreover than a script to complement Barry's acting talents. The film received a very she got tempered... got on heels. <laughs> Wait a minute. The, t- <laughs> the film... She re- got on heels in Wait, this. Wait a minute, man. Let me finish this because everybody's not in the room. Check it out. Okay. The film received a very tempered response from Hallie in her own words. This is what I said. This is what she said. First of all, I want to thank Warner Brothers. Thank you for putting me in a piece of shit, god-awful movie. It was just what my career needed. So looking back at the film may have missed the mark, but did it not launch several carefully written female superheroes, which they capitalized off and greater success? Thank you, WB. So in a way, didn't Catwoman help... Dude, I'm trying to see you know. <laughs> you know she looks gorgeous, though, doesn't she? Wait, wait, wait. Doesn't she gorgeous. look gorgeous? No, look at see, that rat. See, that's what they blamed her for. Yeah, she got on heels and she's a superhero. Come on, give me a break. If I'm a, how about some boots? Bro, check it out, Mario. If you were a superhero, you can wear any clothes you want, right? I guess. <laughs> All right, go to the next one. All right, you guys. Next one, taking you back. Richard Roundtree, Shaft. As Shaft, Richard Roundtree was the archetype for the lethal ladies' man of the so-called black exploitation era. Richard was set apart from others and was the epitome of cool at the black private dick. That's what they called him back then. Shut your day. mouth. <laughs> That's a sex machine to all the ladies. In some Shaft. ways, Shaft was the black James Bond in the hood. Is that a close analogy of what he was, man? Yes, he was. <laughs> the black chair. Now, did you go see they Shaft? They named him Shaft. That was the Fallon <laughs> symbol. Wait, but did you go see it? Yes, everybody did. That music. In fact, Shaft is the, is the most prolific movie theme album for people of my generation. Yeah. By that, I mean, I was in the record store, yeah. and they played the record just before I saw the movie. Right. And we went crazy in the record store. What is that? Right. Bought the record before we even went to the movie. Right. Yeah, it was an yeah. iconic soundtrack, Incredible. man. The soundtrack, can you know what it reminds me of? What was better, Prince, Purple Rain, or the movie? Meaning the soundtrack versus the movie. Oh, the, the soundtrack. The that, movie was also a bunch of crap. Oh, yeah. See, that's that's great writing, great oh, musical composition. Man, Lake yeah. Winnipeg, <laughs> Lake Tonka, <laughs> whatever. Purify yourself with Lake Winnipeg, whatever. Okay, all right. You know what? I want to let you know, as you know, that's a rope that he's grabbing. That's about it. All right, let me go on over to the next. All right, superheroes also mean that time has changed and there are developing superheroes to come and maybe, maybe not. It doesn't matter if your pocketbook is getting rich, you call yourself whatever you want. John Boyega, already in the Star Wars trilogy and Pacific Rim. He represents the future of black action heroes on screen. The British native has been put on the map with his roles as Finn in the Star Wars trilogy, as well as his role in Pacific Rim. Like they said, is he going to turn out to be even more of a superhero? Because a lot of his roles 
for the most part, have been kind of co-starring or supporting more so. But will he break out and be that one that's I like... I think so. I think we're going to see more from him. Okay. Have you seen... Yes, you've seen Yeah, him. oh yeah. Pacific Rim, how did you like Oh, I enjoyed that. Okay, yeah. It's great. It's There's a been great. a bunch of knockoffs that are horrible. <laughs> wait, wait, what do you mean but, knockoffs? But, but there's some knockoff films that are like... Yes. Pacific Hole. <laughs> Wait a minute, There's Atlantic some, Dump? Yeah, like, what? they have some uh, knockoffs that are horrible. <laughs> right, man. But, but yeah, All I right. love Pacific Rim. Yeah, man. It's, hey, off. Props to it, man. I love the, the, the imagination of what they did with it that. All right. All right, let's go to the next. I always say some people have to play in the time zone that they're in, and they sta- have a standard which many don't get to set as Woody Strode did. Rest in peace, Spartacus. Yes. Woody Strode broke free of black subservient roles with little impact with his supporting role in the iconic film Spartacus. The 1960 role depicted a black slave who not only stood up for himself, but also sparked a rebellion to come. That role earned him not only a Golden Globe nomination, but also consistent work in a number of Western and action roles. He was an athlete at UCLA during the time of Jackie Robinson. That's right. He was, he was a professional and also an athlete and this launched him way before the Jim Brown period as a conversion from athletes into film and not playing certain roles. This is to me to me and when I look at what he was doing at the time and here's the other thing. Setting the standard that the black man could be bald. The standard that you seem to embrace today. (laughs) Right. Vic has now embraced the legacy of Woody Strode. <laughs> right, When right. you look at Woody, yeah. think of him. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take anything that has a correlation with what he has done in a period in time where he had to sit back and go, once I get off the film and I walk into my neighborhood or go amongst my people, I feel wonderful, but I'm still in a period where there's a lot of prejudice culturally, as you know what I mean. So, hey, look, want to give props up to that one. Is Spartacus one of your all-time films? It's one of my favorites. So it's an excellent piece. Okay. All right. Here we go. Next one up. Rest in peace. I remember a lot of brothers in the hood going like, I'm Jim Kelly. Enter the Dragon. Jim Kelly parlayed actual skill in martial arts into a solid film career in action movies in the 1970s. From the black exploitation films like Black Belt Jones and Black Samurai to a starring role alongside Bruce Lee in the classic kung fu action spectacle Enter the Jack Dragon. Ah. And also, he actually quoted that un- unbelievable person to work with, Bruce Lee, and a great, great martial artist. Were you faking like you had the skills, man? Did you go into your karate stance and do Jim Kelly? I took karate lessons. And how did that and work? judo out? lessons. And, and, and let's just say, my hands are yeah. weapons today. <laughs> just I use the weapons mostly against my own penis. But my hands are weapons. Why are you using... Dude, dude, dude. Okay, dude. Take that, penis. Take that. Okay, I'm not showing that. <laughs> I'm not showing that. Look, you guys, I have nothing to do with that. That's his Take that. Thing. These hands are deadly. I'm not showing it. Not <laughs> showing it. <laughs> you know they're going to look at you <laughs> and go... They also can grab breasts. I'm apolo- I'm big. That's kind of good, big. Don't that look kind of women? Does that look kind of good, big? He's, like he's objectifying the women. Ah, I look like I'm Marshall. Not, I'm not. Ah. Showing, I'm not showing it, man. You can't do that. You can't do that. This is a serious honoring of somebody. It is. <laughs> and I have the magic fingers. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go into the next. Ooh, man, we got to edit this part. All right. All right. Here we go. Vin Diesel. Riddick. Vin Diesel has self-identified as definitely a person of color and has stated that his parents' relationship would have been illegal in parts of the United States due to certain laws, of course. Probably more known for a successful series of Fast and Furious films with upcoming Fast and Furious 9 and 10. It really all began and will continue with Pitch Black's Riddick and recently to just Riddick. Well, the saga continues with the upcoming Furia featuring Riddick. Mario, you watched the Riddick series, haven't you? Yes, I have, Vic. Will you continue to watch 
Yes, I will continue as he tries to bring Light Skin Brothers back in. <laughs> Let's see, there and you I go. know you've been regretting this <laughs> most of your adult life, <laughs> but see, you know, Light it. Skin may be coming back. It never left. I want you to know, Pete, but I'm on it, your it, side, Chocolate Brother. Okay. <laughs> Chocolate Brother, that's it. Okay, just so you guys know, Hood English. All right, here we go. Hood English. <laughs> You're going to pick, this is the one, uh, they say, pick your two films or your character or your actors. You can pick whatever you want as the reason why you can't wait to see the next film project. It can be the writing, the actor, or the saga. Take it from top to bottom if you like, Mario. It's all on you. All right, from top to bottom, let's start at the top. Whoa, we started out Black Lightning. No. <laughs> Predator, wonderful in his day. Danny's age, he's a wonderful icon. He's a no. grand- grandpa Predator. Yeah. Spawn and Black Dynamite. Nah. Catwoman, oh, come on. <laughs> but it's still wonderful to look at her. Right. Shaft, I'll be watching this even as I get older, just for nostalgic reasons. But moving forward, this brother stands to be seen more and more again, celebrating John Boyega. Okay, Woody Strobe, of course, rest in peace, but these are the brothers whose back that we crossed over on, they cut a path for us, always celebrating them. Just like Jim Kelly, whose kung fu, whose studio, Yes. Was down, down the, the hill, hill from us. Right down here. Right man. down the hill on Crenshaw. Yes. We knew because we used to see the brothers in there. Right, so Exactly. And again, so I think when you look forward, Vin Diesel still, too, has some things to say. Yep. Some things to do. Yep. So between John Boyega and, and Vin, Vin Diesel, Diesel I think we can man. expect to see those two. Yeah. I mean, it's easy to pick your current. John Boyega being the younger or the youngest will have the future because he's hitting both areas, specific rim, and yet to be the next one. And if you get to, I won't even tell you the other production that's coming up, but I'm not going to lie to you. The Riddick, even though Fast and Furious is what most people want to see, Riddick got me right now. It, but only because he's already been involved in a number of projects with it. I've yet to see John Boyega carry as a action hero but Vin definitely oh yeah right now, so definitely in before. different leagues even one is well established in his career and the yeah. other one yeah both in his career and as a producer yeah so yeah he's yeah. well established yeah bring pitch black two in the hood all right I'm done everybody <laughs> hot pick yeah nah man you know we gotta do a joint for the ladies right right <laughs> So every club worldwide, we gon' move y'all like this. Come on, bounce, bounce, bounce. Hey girl, hey girl, hey girl, hey girl, hey girl. It's Friday night when the club lines be out the door. Watch the ceiling.